Thank you. 
last show on this lovely Saturday. Now, we have had two Sewing Saturday shows this morning, and weren't they wonderful? You loved our Sewing Saturday and our Sewing Saturday craft along. Absolutely. I wonder how many of you are going to be making place from that like that. Even if you don't make them like that, you can take that inspiration, can't you? Which would be absolutely lovely. Now, I want to remind, before I go into the first deal, I want to remind you of something, because we only have about 24 hours worth of live shows left, 26 hours of live shows left to use the code, is our code SUMMER. S-U-M-M-E-R, SUMMER, is the code you want to use to put in that discount box um, to get five pounds, dollars or euros off your spend. Now, the exclusions on this are down there. I mean, normally they're up here, but they're down there. See, it, no minimum spend. You can do it off new releases. So we had brand new dies this morning. You can use it off those. You, uh, the, the only thing you can't really use it on is gift cards. Gift cards are probably about the only thing we're aware of. It's not individuals, it's not bundles, it's just whatever. As long as you have spent five pounds, we're gonna knock you five pounds off your spend and that will be brilliant. No, not gonna knock them out, Lily. We'll knock them um, knock that off. But talking of knockout, we have some knockout deals coming up and some dies that you can only get them in the bundle. So there you go, the details are there, it's all here. This is our ribbon threading. Now these are our border dies. I think I launched these, I think I did. I really love these. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the die that goes down the middle which is your border and then you can have that cut in cut out then you've got edges a left edger and a right edger as well now you have got all of these i just want to show you this one here is our charming heart and you can only get it in it is charming heart isn't it yeah it's in the bundle all of the other five are available individually if you want to but obviously this is going to give you the best deal but charming heart can't be bought anywhere else apart from this bundle because we've only got a few left so we've just got to do there so let me show you what you've got you've got your alluring aztec which i think is absolutely gorgeous so you can see you've got the main die you've got the two sides so it can cut out make a panel or it can cut in you can use one of the sides or both of the sides it's entirely up to you that one goes really well with the Rowan 20s collection that does this is your charming heart which is gorgeous now this one i would now that alluring aztec portrait or landscape for me because i'm a bit picnickety like that picnickety i went Pernickety, <laughs> pickernickety. Yeah, here we go. I like that one. We, we like new words. Picture knickers this morning, but pickernickety. Yeah, that's quite good. Pick yeah. This one I think has to be done um, portrait style. Absolutely. Yep. If I if I was doing a landscape card, I'd find a different one because for me, if I have the hearts that way around, it just annoys me. Um, but that's just a personal choice. Some people don't even mind that. But there you go. So you've got the heart. So that's the charming hearts available in the bundle. Now this one again. La this one will go landscape or portrait. This is this always reminds me of bodice lash. La you know, doing up on what's yeah. it? The, the, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very burlesque. But again, you can do this. I think you're going to be able to get male and female type styly ones out of this. I did this one on the launch with strips of paper. Looked lovely. And again, you can do that way or that way. Entirely up to you. This one is your decorative flourish. Again, this is another landscape or portrait one. I don't think it's got a, it's got a preference. It's absolutely beautiful. Don't forget, you're always getting the three dies. Then you're getting your modern geometric. Really, really good one for your masculine mates. How many times do we have bundles that have so many masculine style dies? And then this one is another one that I would only do personally in a portrait because if you look at there, you can see you've got your butterfly. There's the top of the butterfly one wing two wings all the way down so again for me that's quite annoying if that's the other way around but there we go i hope i should say i just should have checked with becky that you've not done that on any of your demos is me saying i'm gonna like, really annoy corin <laughs> are you gonna really annoy I'm me i'm really gonna annoy corin uh, i just anyway. notice it i just notice it. it's just <laughs> one of those things that i would notice there we go i should have actually checked sometimes <laughs> that'll teach me jump right in with both feet without even checking <laughs> now if you want all six of those your price there is 40 pounds or 50 dollars if you are in the club you're going to get it down there 32 pounds or 40 dollars which is absolutely phenomenal value so they're coming out at just over five pounds or about 
from the not quite seven dollars each set which is absolutely brilliant so make sure you snap those up and becky is now going to tell me that she's going to use one of those i put my foot right in it and is she going to use one of the ones that i think should be a portrait one landscape not yet not yet but later on yes later i'm on. going to use one of those ones the wrong way i don't know yeah i think i, I think yeah. it looks okay the way it is. Know, susie's really excited to see you get your paper craft on oh. there you go <laughs> No, I'll go through all no the comments in a today, is there? No yeah. pressure at all. <laughs> we'll let you do this, settle in, and then we'll do the comments. Okay, fine. Okay, so the one I'm going to use is the decorative flourish. Um, so this is the one with a, it's basically got a little, little flower um, on it. And as Corinne was saying, they're really versatile by having those three different dies. So you can cut in um, and you can cut out and you can cut um, just one edge, which is what I'm going to do on this particular demo. Um, so I've got a piece of card um, to make a card that's um, five and three quarters square. Um, I'm going to place my die um, over here at an angle yeah, across here. And I'm going to use one of the edges. Make sure I get the right one. Uh, this bit took me ages to fiddle around, but I think it's... Uh, do you know what? I haven't even cleaned my... Give it a quick tap. <sighs> Give it a quick tap from behind. No, it, 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 those little tiny bits, they're, they're not happy coming out with a little bit of a tap. There you go. They just need a little bit. So I, I, thought, I'd, I thought I'd cleaned it up. This is one of those things when you're crafting and the, and the light's not very good. Um, or you, you're early morning crafting. Um, that is the wrong one. Let's move that around that way. And then that will be the right side. I think there's only one of them where there's where they're not universal size, and you pick the one. Yeah, I think you're right. And so just it's just a little bit of fiddling around trying to get this in place. And again, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape um, to hold those two dies together before I tape it actually onto my card. Um, and I'm I'm always um, I always put more pet tape than I should do. So we've we've talked about this before. I tape. When I'm doing um, fabric, I tape onto the die, onto the, the plate. Um, but yeah. nobody else does that um, here. It's just, it's just my foible, I reckon. My foible. Don't you know the word, Lou? Like, foible? Foible. It, foible is... So, like your idiosyncrasy. Your, your, yeah, your, your, your funniness. Trace. Yeah, you're my foible. And I'm just lining that all up so it's going to cut properly. And that's going to be my waist, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll pop that in my machine. Um, you not heard that, Lily. Mm. See, it, like you said, it's a learning, it's a learning show, isn't it? it we is. all pick up something new. Okay. We have done. We, we have, have covered a lot of topics today. So I wonder whether, from the topics that we've talked about, anybody is going to go and try something new. Are, are there? No. Uh, uh, Chris, Chris in the, in the fridge, fridge. Yeah. Um, crisps in the chop, crisp in the chop, um, crisp chocolate in the in the fridge, chocolate in the cupboard. Does it matter if it's um, different kinds of chocolate? Um, you know, if white chocolate go in the fridge more often than milk chocolate or dark chocolate? I don't, I don't know. Because I'm not a chocolate in the fridge person. No, me either. I'm a chocolate I in don't. the cupboard. Yeah, me too. Anyone going to try skinny dipping tonight? Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit chilly, Brad. Actually, yeah, you can't go to the local local pool and do skinny dipping, can you? That's going to be something that... Yeah, I think papers. if you try to go skinny dipping at your local pool, <laughs> somebody might have something to say. Or the lo local Lido, can you imagine? <laughs> local Lido closed. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be trying that on my holiday. I'm just going to say it's a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a communal pool. And then... Um, I am going on holiday. Did I mention that at all? Did I not? No? No. Yeah, I'm going away. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Mallorca. Yeah. This time next week, you'll be there. I know. I will. I will, won't I? Definitely. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be thinking of you all. I'm, no, I'm sure you I'll be, won't. I'm sure I'll be watching. You big fibber. <laughs> I, might, I, I do sometimes watch when I'm on holiday. You, you won't be thinking of us in the true sense of the word. I will be thinking of, thinking of you. Could not think, not think about you. So I've cut that little edge um, off here. Um, so that is going to fold over and create my little card. I'll just put that out one way. So I think it loses its taste in the fridge. Absolutely, totally agree with you on that. Yeah, there we go. And now I'm going to use... Um, so I've got some of the sunflower papers from oh good choice. no it's not sunflowers it's not it's daisy delightful daisies and um, so 
yet yeah, delightful daisies. Um, so I'm going to do some matting layers over here. And then I've also cut out my matting layer over on this side as well. Um, but first of all, I want to put some ribbon um, through as his ribbon threading dries. Um, and what I want to do is I also want to put a little bit of thread through. So I've already started on this one over here. You can see I've just stitched this little bit of thread. Now this is not embroidery thread, this is the kind of thread you use for crewel work, C-R-E-W-E-L. It's a bit thicker, it's almost like a tapestry um, kind of thread, but it's got a bit of sheen to it. Um, so I thought this worked quite well going on here. Now the way I finished this off is I did a little knot and I put a tiny, tiny drop of Kalau multi-purpose glue on it to Perfect. let it dry off and then trimmed it. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. So I'm using my needle for this because obviously it's thin thread. Um, that we're going to be um, using, but then I'm going to thread the ribbon through as well. Right, let's just get that right in. Right so you're place. not you're not creating those holes. So you're going through holes that yeah, are already going there. Yeah, going through holes already that so weren't necessarily there for the ribbon threading, but you're making no. the most well, of them. Well, these are quite thin holes. These are quite small holes here on the edge. So the ribbon's going to go through the channel down here. Yeah. But these edges, I thought they just lent itself to another little um, another little bit of colour, really. Um, to do. It always that frames here. it, won't it? It's going to frame it. It's almost... Yeah, I think so. So I'm just going to I'm gonna tie the knot off here and then put a bit of glue in there. Um, it just, because I, I wanted it to look tidy because otherwise it can look a bit of a mess. Um, if you're just putting like tape down on this bit, um, it looked a bit of a mess unless you were going to be covering it up, which I didn't want to do. Um, so I thought if I do, I do a couple of little knots and then just put a little tiny droplet of glue on there, that's going to hold everything in place. So now it's just a question of. It's a lot of hand stitching so far it today, is. isn't it, that I've done? Mm -hmm. you put, you're bringing your Sewing Saturday I, um, Well, yeah, I, was quite, I was quite pleased when I got the, you know, the list of the products going to be on. I was like, oh, OK, you know, they are sort of soft craft related, aren't they? Yeah. I'll just put those through there. Um, and I quite like, you know, when we were talking earlier on about using different threads, you know, we've all got bits of threads and bits oh, of twine. Yes. So it's quite nice to be able to um, use some of those up. Um, Do you I, keep ribbons that you cut out of tops and things, coat hanger no, ribbons? No, I don't actually. But I didn't think. I know. Um, I know Debbie Fisher was saying to me um, when I was with her the other week. She'd got a new dress and she was like, "Oh, I've got the ribbon. I'll give you the ribbon so um, I could use it for the shows this week." And we just totally forgot about it. Um, but no, I didn't think about that. Yeah, they're nice thin ribbons and yeah. even if you don't do it for like your ribbon threading because I think you can use up to six mil ribbon in yeah. there, I think it was. Those are often a bit smaller, but they make nice little bows and things like that. Yeah. Nice length. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I, admit, some... I leave most of mine on my top because I, like I like them to stay on the hanger. Do you put, I put elastic bands on my hangers. Pardon? I put elastic bands on my hangers. Do you? Then they, they um, then grip a hold of your clothes. Oh, I've changed nearly all my hangers to Velcro hangers now. I've been gradually Velcro doing hangers? It. Not Velcro hangers, that's not the right word. Velvet hangers. Oh, OK. <laughs> I yeah. know what you mean, yeah. <laughs> There's a big difference between Velcro <laughs> and Velvet, yeah. I know, I've got the wrong one. I, got, I knew it was V, but I've got the wrong one. OK, I'm almost done on that little bit down here. It really does make a really pretty effect. Well, I thought it looked quite nice having it like that. Okay, and then a little knot here to finish that off. Like that. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here and let that dry for a moment. So a bit of Kalal glue. And so many, the... so many uses for your glue, isn't there? Yeah, there really. Go. Details down at the bottom. Seven ninety um, eight or fifteen dollars ninety. So I think that is buy two get one free. There we go. And then I've got a little bit of um, blue ribbon. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape on the end of this. Is this Michelle's trick? Does Michelle do this? It's my trick. It's your trick. I showed Michelle how to do it. Yeah, because that, that it makes then you can then thread everything through a little yes. bit easier. Makes um, it so it makes much it easier. Bit, bit, um, bit more rigid. Um, it, I, I found it made everything a lot simpler to do. So I'm just going to thread in and out of the channel here. Um, you can see how that's going. I'm just sort of trying to avoid touching the glue that I've got on there. And then. Well, I was ju just about 
to get I just thought we've converted someone what are you doing Sandy said skinny dipping in the ocean after a hot busy day and an enjoyable evening and I thought oh that she's been and done it but it says was the perfect end oh. of course in those days there were still deserted areas of beach oh I thought we'd converted someone no, I, I mean, I, it's not It's not for me, skinny dipping. And do you know what it is? Um, <laughs> I'm worried that there'll be somebody, there'll be some child snorkelling nearby. <laughs> and I'd, and, or something like that. If you do it at night time, yeah, but you, then you don't know, then the fish might be a bit frightened. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, I'm not keen on that whole thing. It's not for me. Um, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't think anyone wants it. Don't do you think, you should, you try well, they to say you should try try everything it. twice, shouldn't you? Because once you might not like it, and it might not be, you know, what you, you know, you might need to try it twice to make sure you really don't like it. So, um... They always say one of the things you shouldn't try is Morris dancing, and I used to. Morris so dancing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what a random thing. <laughs> did, did, I used to. I used to be a Morris dancer. Yeah, there you go. Did you really? I did, yeah. I can't imagine you as a Morris dancer. Mm. I mean, I can imagine with all those ribbons, yes. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. I would be surprised Morris dancing, really. Learn something new every day, don't you? Yeah. Okay. I, uh, my dad was a Morris dancer for years and years and years. And so I used to go around all those things and I had a little stint. I know a joke about being a Morris dancer, but I can't say it. Could that be a fun time Friday? <gasps> Get Corinne yes! back Morris dancing. Oh my God, that wow. would be so good. <laughs> When's my next Friday? Oh, about November. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lily. <laughs> You're not putting me on every Friday just because you've taken over that job, Lily. <laughs> oh, she says, right, no. Oh, Corinne, no. Oh, we've, we've got to see you do some Morris dancing. I don't have any That'd clogs anymore. That would be so anymore. good. It doesn't no longer matter. own any clogs. We could contact the local Morris Dancing Association <laughs> and organise it. There's got to be one nearby. That would be so good. <laughs> Oh. So I could do pretend um, Irish dancing. It's not real, but I mean, it looks, I'm quite enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why? I don't know, ages. Ages, weeks and weeks. Um, I've spent a tiny piece of um, red liner tape, which I'm now going to struggle to remove, um, which is going to be entertaining. Um, oh, no, look. Oh, look, 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 look. I did it. Because you, you burnished it, it'll come off, yeah. you see. And then um, just folding that over so it's nice and neat, because I want the whole thing to look um, fairly neat and tidy. Uh, come on. I can't believe my dancing. Mm. There you go. My fun fact. Susie, Susie, what is Morris dancing? Oh, of course, yeah. Then, yeah, then you wouldn't know what Morris dancing is. It's, um, it's a tradition. Well, you're, you obviously know, because your dad used to do it. I don't know. It was uh, a traditional. It's a traditional, and it used to be to ward off evil spirits and things like that. It, years and years and years ago, um, men have wear clogs and bells. They wave handkerchiefs or hit sticks together. Um, yeah, very loud. And it's you normally get them like, like, like um, sort of village fates and things and folk like festivals, that, don't you? Because we used to go to all the folk festivals when we were younger. Yeah. That's what we used to do. Dad used to wear a big bowler hat. And cram it full of fresh flowers. Really? Every time, yeah. Not sweets. Yeah. No, not sweets. It would have been more popular if you filled it with I sweets. Know. Surely. I mean, like I told you, he worked. At, he worked, used to work at Bassett Sweet Factory. Yeah, I can imagine. Full of licorice all sorts. Yeah. Lovely. Yes. <laughs> it's what you, Lily used to run past oh. the Bassett um, Sweet Factory, and you smell the smells as you. You can smell. Oh, so. What, yeah, what you can you smell from the factory? What what is what is it? It'll be Just sweet. sugary. It'll be sugar syrup smells. You'll be able to smell. Oh, apparently they make Oreos at, at Bassett's now. Oh my goodness! There we go. That sounds really good. I like that idea. Are oh, they? There you go. <laughs> Lily used to be able to train near there. My dad used to just come home with lots and lots of sweets. Oh, I bet you were really popular. He used to be, I was saying earlier, Friday night when he opened up his car, it was like Pied Piper of Hamelin. In, <laughs> and all the kids used to, because he used to always bring kids sweets for all the kids in the street on a Friday. Oh, uh, that yeah. sounds great. I like that idea. Sherbet dib dabs, flying oh. saucers, licorice all sorts, strawberry shoelaces. They're just the sorts of ones. Fantastic. That, yeah, I was about 14 at the time. 
Yeah, just come up about 14. Yeah. And then my step granddad as well at the same time worked at Dunhills that used to make Pontefract cakes and all the oh. other sweets, which is I think now where Haribo must be made. I think I just had a quick look. I don't know if Dunhills still exists, um, but I think it's now where the Haribo is made in Pontefract and Castleford, where our Michelle's from. Yeah. We'll just put, I'm just putting a few flowers on here. Did you enjoy making those? Did you enjoy doing the flowers? I did, yeah. I, I, could, have, I could have made them for, for hours longer. Yeah, I really enjoyed making them. It is really good. Very addictive. And you, keep, you just keep thinking, oh, yes, I'll do, I'll do a couple more, do a couple more. And it's, um, yeah, I've got, I've got quite a lot left over, which is good. Yeah, at least I've got them for next time. But, yeah, you're there. That. Don't for, not forgetting your... Um, your foliage, most important. You do, otherwise, you know, you don't have any flowers apart from gerberas that don't yeah. have foliage right close to the actual flower. Because they were, they were cultivated specifically for um, flower rangers. Um, so they, they're, they're great because they've obviously got long, tall dahlias stems. Dahlias have quite long stems as well, yeah. don't they? For, for I think they are part thing. of the dahlia family, aren't they? Are they? I, I wouldn't think, be surprised. I think so. A little bit more 3D glue gel down here. There we go, and then we want a little sentiment at the top. So um, I think that was from Nitwits. Kindly thoughts. I I knew you'd know, Lily. And then we'll pop a couple of foam pads on the back. Nitwits, kindly thoughts. So is it a stamp in that collection? Yeah. I'll have, to, I'll have to have a look out for that one because I'm not sure. I must, I've well, got all the nitwits kindly thoughts. So I must have that somewhere. It's um, yeah, I, when I went sort of through my stash and I don't have a huge amount of sentiment stamps because, you know, I've got a big thing about sentiments. I don't like them. Um, that I have a problem with. I have a problem with, I don't mind a, I don't mind a sentiment, but I don't like a relationship on a card. I know. Um, yeah, oh, best God. thing you can do is put happy birthday mum on a card for oh. Becky. Sister. Oh. Friend. Special friend. Can't bear it. No, don't like it. And if it's got if it's got some kind of teddy bear on it, ooh, there we go. Right, little sentiment, little bit of flowers, and then we've got my first one using the ribbon threading dies. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank we you. are loving that. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank and you. So that is using our ribbon th um, threading art border dies. So the details are on the screen. You're going to get 18 dies in total, six different ones with three in each. And your platinum price for that, £32 or $40. Right, now I didn't do all the comments, so we're going to have you here. As I said, we've now got Susie on the social, so good evening. We've got Jessica Stricker, hi, from Southern Illinois. Carletta Morris is from Arkansas. Miriam Johnson is from Stockton. Um, Carol Dunn says, hi, third time today. Lol, I think I'm addicted to this show. <laughs> yep, I can understand that. Um, Lillian Quack says hello to us all. Hope you had a lovely break. We did. We sat and chatted, made sure we ate some food, got everything done. Mary Pat 1000 says, good morning again, everyone from sunny Montana. I'm in my happy place after that awesome sewing craft along. It will make lovely gifts. It certainly will. Lynn Morton's here from a wet um, Newcastle. She says hi to everyone. Um, Laurie Barnett says, I'm with you, Corin. I can't do sideways bows either. Oh, and I can't do sideways sentiment or sentiment edibles on the side. There you go. See, I'm not alone. Um, I want to use these on the trifold notepad covers I've been making, says Michelle Harris. That would look really nice. And you can repeat them as well. Um, Lynn also says, chocolate loses its taste in the fridge. Or so she was told by a lady from Thornton. There you go. To oh. get it from, must be true now. Um, Miriam says, I'm going to Eastbourne. Okay, that, yep. But that's, that's for our holiday. She's going on holiday next week to Eastbourne. <gasps> Not been away for 12, 12 years. years. Well, enjoy. You and hubby enjoy Eastbourne. There we go. Um, Susie says she takes ribbon off everything and she was recommending using velvet hangers. Um, she said they, they, her clothes stay in place so well, sometimes they are hard to get off the hanger quickly. It totally is. Um, Terry Anderson is, is hello from Ohio. Kirsty D, good evening, everyone. I've been to see my brother's new house today. My niece, Isabel, has been trying to decide where her craft room 
is going. I think her mum and dad will say her bedroom, lol, possibly. Um, Mary Beth Dor says, hi everyone, joining from Minnesota for an hour before I have to leave. Everyone's saying, what kind of dancer? Morris Dancer was the answer. Um, explain that, we just did a bit. Um, Nadia said, not for me either, but I'm loving the ribbon threading technique Becky is using. Um, Deborah says, this card is gorgeous. What a beautiful card I must try with the thread, says Miriam. Um, Sylvie Sparkly says, I desperately need to see Becky's enthusiastic Irish dancing. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah says, so excited for this class as I have so many ribbon threads. I've not used them yet. I've got body weight after seeing it. Oh, thank you, Sherry. You're doing the mic. It's still there. There we go. Oh, right. Becky, you're going to do a yeah. demo for me. Yeah, I can do another demo. Um, I am going to be using the Creator Card Elaborate Lace Die, um, which is this one here, which is absolutely gorgeous. Really liked all of these um, different dies. I was quite excited to get all of these and lots of different op options for them. Um, so I'm going to make um, a card using the, wow, what's it called? Um, the plaid pads, plaid pads, plaid pads. Um, I, just, I just hear the um, thing from Dory the Explorer when she goes backpack, backpack. That's what I hear when I hear plaid pads, plaid pads. Um, so we're just going to put, I'm going to cut the whole thing out. So I want to use the outer die as well as that inner die as well. So just getting that all lined up. Um, a bit of tape. And just keep it all in place. Go and a bit over here. I'm always a bit heavy handed with my tape, but I think that's a good thing. I think so. Are you too frugal? Oh yeah, I do. I know what you like, Lily. I know what you like. Okay, so we've got that. I've got um, the frosted plate over the top and my magnetic shim and then my white plate. The I am, yep. The battery went on the on the um, receiver. Oh. Yeah, so it wasn't receiving my mic. And I think we've got to do yours in a minute. So right. I so I so I'm just going to have a quick go through these yeah, no to problem. tell everybody what you're using. So these this is a five piece selection for your ribbon threading. So these are larger dies than the previous one because you can see before we had little thin dies and now we've got the much larger dies. So we've got um, elaborate lace which is gorgeous. You can see there's so much space to put your ribbon on. Then we've got. Diagonal lace, I can see why that one's called that. Again, diff very different designs, I like this one. Bold florals, I think that one would look nice. Paper piecing as well as yeah. um, done. Then we've got, oh, look at that one. Oh, I've not seen that one before. Baroque swirls. We have only got five, yeah. Oh, that's a new one. Mm, not even Lily's seen that one either. And then finally, we've got like the charming lace. Now, if you want all of these, the saving on these is phenomenal. It's 65%. So instead of being £65 or £75, you're going to get these for £23 or $26. Absolutely right, less than £5 a set. But look at that platinum price, £18.40 or $20.80. And remember, if you've not used your code SUMMER, you could get five set die sets, so that's 10 dies in total, for £13.40 or $15.80. That would be amazing if you've not used your code summit yet, so make sure you do. Right, okay, see if anybody else has um, done... Ooh, Lynn Morton says, part of my family used to own sweet factories until a few years ago. I bet you love those. Renee says, love this card, lovely card. Are the centres of them threaded? I love that idea. I think that was the flowers, says Emily. Um, no, you didn't thread the centres of the flowers, did you? No. 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 I don't think so. Beautiful card just made banana nut muffins to go with my coffee, Ooh. says Tricia. Well, where are ours? I mean, yes, that's awfully rude. Marianne says, at a weekend-long scrapbook crop, I decorated my cane mobility aid with pretty ribbons. The massage reflexologist from UK told me I look like a Morris dancer. There you are. You certainly would, because they would have ribbons everywhere. Kirsty D says, very pretty Becky. Um, I have several rib ribbon threading dyes and tons of ribbons, says Tricia. Gorgeous card. What did the sentiment say, Michelle? Uh, Marshall said 
A celebrate the day. Celebrate the day. Perfect. Beautiful card says Mary Pat 1000. Love your card. Getting ideas for my daisy collection said Jessica. That's what I love seeing is when you can see two collections brought together. So ribbon threading and daisy collection. Bring them together. Make something else. Nadia, beautiful card. Rhonda says hello again everyone from a chilly overcast Oak Park near Chicago. Hope you're all having a great day. We certainly are. Seal Spark says I can't bear relationship sentiments on cards either they make me cringe there you are you are I not alone i completely agree um, susie says oh i love these big creator card ribbon threading dies they make beautiful cards with and without ribbon or paper running through them they certainly do right so if you want all of these remember 18 pound 40 20 dollars 80 is an amazing price for all five sets you're saving over 40 Pounds, so that would be oh, around 40 pounds yeah over 40 pounds nearly fit nearly 50 pounds so that would be brilliant so becky sorry to interrupt this is right. your batteries and that's all right to go I, I don't know whether my batteries are rolling <laughs> out. <laughs> right so we've got I, i've just run that through um the, the um, gemini you can see how that's come through so i'm just going to give it a couple of passes which i didn't want to do while corinne was talking because it would be very um, I'm really am bashing that, aren't I? Um, there we go. Let's open that off. Let's take this out. And there you've got that beautiful design. It is absolutely stunning. And actually, I think these, just as they are, without even any of the ribbon threading, works particularly well anyway. But what I've actually done is I've taken some of the um, paper from the plaid pad, plaid pad, um, which is this one here. And That's I've cut the blush it, plaid pad. It is. And I've cut it into scant strips. I'd say... Well, they're not, they're, they are, they're, Two mil? yeah, Three they mil? aren't, you know, they are, they are small. They are like an eighth of an inch. They're very, very, very tiny because I wanted to thread them through this here. Um, so I've already started it over here. Um, so you can see what I'm doing along here. And I just thought it was quite pretty and quite light um, to do. And, and really good if you, before you start now, actually using the paper rather than the ribbon, if you're struggling um, to manoeuvre it through, the paper's a little bit easier because it's a little bit stiffer. Um, but I thought it would be quite a nice way of using up some of the scraps because we are loath to throw away all the little tiny mm. bits and pieces. And perhaps you do have a small piece of um, some of this that you want to use um, to create these little strips. And I'm missing a strip. No, where have you gone? Oh, oh damn, I have to try and organise something else on that. Um, I'm missing a little strip of paper. That's no good. Um, so I'm just going to thread those, those pieces through. I've just got that last one at the very, very top. I might just have to... It's not underneath your, your plaid. Who plastic. knows um, is what I'm going to say. Um, who knows? It, do you know what? It's, it's one of those things where it's almost like it's... Um, it goes into like Neverwhere. Have you ever, have you ever read the book Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman? No. Uh, or, or heard the, watched the film or seen the play? And it's about a world that exists um, just below ours and it's called Neverwhere. And it's, um, it's called The Below. And it's exactly the same as this, or so, same sort of layout as what we're seeing here, but it's different. So um, it's, called, it's called Neverwhere. And that's oh, what wow. it sort of is. I wonder if I can just cut that piece off and I might be able to squeeze that through on here because um, you don't need very much because obviously it's all going to be hidden those little separate pieces are going to be hidden behind um the um, oh, doing two pieces y yeah with one of the others yeah could do that i think we might we might be all right you know we might be okay there's not through. a lot of space to sort of thread it through and then there's one and ne Neverwhere is one of my favourite books, my favourite plays. You get it as an audio book, and it's like a full cast, so it's like a play. It's really right. interesting. It's got Bernard Cribbins in it. Oh, he's good. He is there good. you go. There we go. Just, just about managed it. So I'm just going to be a bit careful with my glue. And so I'm going to trim all of these pieces off um, around the edge, and I'm just going to secure them with a little bit of tacky glue around here. So a little bit. Let's just do that one first of all. It's going to need a tiny, tiny bit there. Yeah, tacky glue is less is more, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit around here. Right, there we go. That will do those little bits. And then these ones, I'm just going to um, put a bit of glue around here and then trim that as well. And then this one. 
pull all of these so they're all round about the same space like that so I did the I think strips and paper slides through a lot easier than ribbon doesn't it, it does absolutely and I think if you're going to you know you're going to try doing this and you find the ribbon a little bit of a, a struggle try it with a piece try it with some um, paper you know look really nice with some mirror card or maybe um you know some of our centura pearl would look lovely oh, that look lovely there we go just trim all those pieces off like that and put a little bit of tacky glue under here okay like that so I'll that one we said was the elaborate lace it is a pretty one isn't it oh god they're all lovely i i would struggle to choose which one i liked um it was they're all they're all stunning i think and actually I, I had an idea about something that i was going to try and do with one of these but i didn't get a chance to um, but i'm going to try it out at home i'm doing a couple of layers of these oh, and things pretty. on there so you can see how that's going to look now i've got my um card blank so this is um four and a half by six yeah and then i've got some black card and i've got my um yellow um plaid from the blush plaid pad blush plaid pad and then i've got another piece of black which i just want to go behind this um sort of mm -hmm. lace effect to finish it all off and use a bit of glue on this swapping to your different glue i love it i love i love swapping to different glues so I, I, when um, when i was um sort of prepping for this and i had a look at it, what's in the sample library and i picked up a um, a card and I went oh that's lovely I really like that one it's your one was it yeah your one with the paper and the black it was a I think it's a black demo and it's got multicolored paper ah, through I through used, it. um color your world that was it yeah and yeah that's what I'm saying that used the one that was a bit that was oh, from the other one that was using the one that's a bit like um the laces a bit like sort of corseted yes lace. Corseted, yeah yes. Um, yeah no I really like that I like that idea that of using gate, like a double gatefold yeah went forwards and back like the idea of using paper um it's not just not just ribbon but using it as ribbon and i will secure that onto there and um, so i'm going to use um some tape pen is that the word you're looking for tape pen? yes tape that's pen? what i'm looking for yeah so just for to go through those little gaps there like that and then i'll run a bit of the tape pen along around the top as well perfect it's obviously stuck because your hands are sticking to the card yeah and then what's that other and that's also going to help secure your strips in place as well yeah isn't absolutely it? and then onto your black card so i think that is should just be about the right size just trimmed it so it's literally just tall enough to go on there lovely color combination isn't we'll it pop that there and then a few bee embellishments would be bee really nice wouldn't like they yeah beautiful collection. yeah i haven't i don't have that collection so obviously I'm, i missed out so i I have only got more recent things, and so I missed out on that, unfortunately, which I would have loved. Yeah. Okay, now we've got, I've got a little sentiment, which is celebrate life. So I'll pop on a couple of, pop that there. Just um, I've got a few foam pads to go on there. So I think I'm probably going to pop that there with a little little bow at the top like that, do you think? Yeah. yeah. Um, and, I, and I do, or do I want that and that? No, no? other way. You don't think so? Do you always think no. that way? Yeah, that definitely. Don't know, yeah, like Lucy, I don't know why, but that definitely looked right. Do you not? Oh, okay. Don't like, bow, don't like bows on the right. I'll remember that. What happens if your little niece wears a little bow in her hair and it's not on the right? You're going to go, no, I don't like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, she had a handmade headband for the wedding. Did your mum make that? Oh, that's lovely. 
Oh. Oh, I think that's lovely. Perfect. I love a, I love a, um, a baby in a, um, a wedding in a like, matching outfit. It looks really nice. Well, I think a couple of little gems at the top here. Oh, it was so it was so nice because obviously I've not done paper craft for ages. I've got, I've got all my gemstones. Oh, it was lovely. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I've got these ones. I've got those ones. Exactly. All forgotten. There we go. Very quick. Create a card using the yellow um, and the black on there. That is absolutely a, a gorgeous. We are loving that. Thank you. And that just shows how, even though it says it's ribbon threading dies, you can um, thread your ribbon, um, paper through too. Um, so we'll just have a quick look. Um, thank you, Susie. She says she liked my dress. That's um, very kind of you. I've got a lot of comments. Last time I do like this one. Um, Pam E says, She's just popping in to say hello whilst enjoying pre-wedding drinks and lunch because her nephew's getting out at 3.30. But she's been a bit bored for the last two hours. Shh. Yes, just a bit of hanging around. She's just waiting. Um, she says, hi, Becky, Corinne, and the crew from Central New York. Hi. Hopefully nobody else is looking and seeing that you've been typing into this. So. <laughs> hi, Pam. Um, Stephanie Theodore says, good afternoon, Becky, Corinne, CCTV team and crafty friends. Diet says, embroidery thread or coloured twine would be fun to use too. And Jessica Stricker says, wonderful card and certainly was. Now, if you want to make that wonderful card too, then you're going to need to get this die bundle. You're going to get all five. You're going to get your elaborate lace. Oh, there you go. You can see that one there. You're going to get your diagonal lace, your bold florals, We've shown you one way to lace these. You will come up with lots of others. Baroque swirls, which we have never seen before, so that must be a new one that's added to there. And also charming lace. All ten dies, because you get the inner and outer and the inner. Um, £23 or $26. But down there is your platinum price at £18.40 or $20.80. Now, I've got a box. Not, not the most exciting looking box, but it tells me it's my everyday treasure box. So, £200 worth of value in this. This, this was launched the other day. Um, Thursday, that was not yesterday, day before. Yeah, I have to think about that. Thursday, this was launched. Was that possibly with Sarah? £200, but you're not going to pay that. You're going to pay £50 or $60. Wow. Don't forget, if you've got the code, you can get an extra fiver off. You're also going to get 50 bonus points. So this should be £200, $250. It's not. It's £50 or $60. £40 or $48, which is amazing. Now, if you order two of these, expect duplicates, because what we're showing you is what you're going to get. So, I'm going to put it here. You've got low-tack tape. You've got your fine-tip glue bottles. You've got... Um, iris folding strips, but you can use them for anything. You could use, oh, yeah, ribbon threading, yeah, cut them in half would be perfect. You've got pokey tools. Always need more. What did Becky just say? You've got your acrylic paint um, pens, glass, stone, um, anything that go on. To, you go on to all sorts. You can do it onto your fabrics and your laces as well. You have got, I'm trying to find some, certain bits to begin with. You have got hot pink caribbean and duck egg in your um classic pens now this. you've got a little die good celebrate oh one of the lilies uses all the time you've got organza ribbon now this is where it's going to yeah it goes with your ribbon threading doesn't it you've got your pop out many thanks Ooh. you've got modern geometric from your ribbon threading You've got Tumbling Waves and Floral from our Natural Beauty collection. Absolutely gorgeous. If you love doing your colour, you're going to love that. Luminaires and Lanterns from Bell Countryside. You have got um, Lovely Lilac from your 3D um, Florals, which I'm sure I've got a whole show on these very soon. I'm sure I have this month. Pop-outs again, you've got Best Wishes. So you've got Best Wishes and many thanks, as I showed you. You've got your Love Never Ends in your um, Expression Sentiments. Chalkboard stamps, you've got Enjoy the Sweet Little Moments and also Make, oops, sorry, make Your Dreams Happen. 
open. All of this, you're not having to pick bits, you're getting it all. You're getting your edge crimper. I should have done that in the bits. You're getting your happy thought stamp. Your double-sided stamp, you know, your ones that are going to do double-sided little tags. You've got your the top dog. So you're going to cut the die out and then you can do the front stamp and the back. So it's little tags or bookmarks. And the same with your sprinkle with fairy dust. You get the front and the back. We're still not finished. You've got your Hip Hip Hooray Waterfall card. That alone is £24.99. So even if you're paying the full today's price, that's half the value of your box. You've got... Which, this is one of your boards for your um, Ultimate Pro. Which one's this one called? It's called... Sweet Treats Boxes on it, isn't it? Is it sweet treats? Box, I can't remember. Sweet treats. Can't remember. I think it might be. That's the one that came to me. And you've sweet. also got your masterful mana mandalas worth twenty nine ninety nine. And if you go back and look at Hobby Maker from last Sunday, uh, you'll see me demonstrating that. But you can find loads and loads of shows here that we've done that. So you're getting all of this. You all of this. Look at it all. Loads and loads. Look at all these dies and stamps. All of these. Ribbons, pens, more pens. I mean, top up bits, presents, gifts. If you've got somebody that's starting out crafting, absolutely brilliant. £50, $60. You are saving £150 or $190, but your platinum price is even better. Look at that, £40, $48. And as if we haven't given you enough of a bargain, we're going to give you 50 extra bonus points as well. I mean, there is no reason why not. Now, you've seen our two ribbon threading um, die sets. You've seen our amazing everyday treasure box. I do have another treasure box to show you later. But while you do that, we're just going to have another quick look at a video all about our Christmas celebrations. Join us for our crafting Christmas event. We've got more festive fun lined up than old St Nick himself, including 12 brand new launches, double points on every purchase, and a free gift on selected orders. Make sure you join us on Crafters TV from the 9th till the 16th of July for all this festive fun and find out more on the Crafters Companion website. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Our craft experts come from all over the UK to HQ up in the northeast, and here they are telling you a little bit about where they're from and what it's famous for. I'm originally from London, so Stoke Newington, I was born and bred and uh, loved London. I mean, I love London now, something really magical about being in the capital. Grew up in Norfolk, loved it. The countryside, the scenery, it was very green and, and just beautiful and picturesque. I now live in Bedford, uh, which and is brilliant for work and life because 
because I feel like Bedford is sort of central to all these places around us. So I get to see so many different places. It's just great to be there. So I live in Barnsley. It's a, and I say a town, it's a town in South Yorkshire. And South Yorkshire is a gorgeous place. Barnsley in particular, I love. It gets a lot of flack, but it's a really beautiful, picturesque place to live. Especially because there's lots of green places around there, lots of lovely um, parks and things like that. But it is a gorgeous place to live. Elphica, neighbouring village to us, which is just full of history. And I love going there ever such a lot. Famous, what's it famous for? Oh, the most famous thing I can think of is a film called Kez. Um, a local author called Barry Hines, who lived in Oil and Common, made a very famous film called Kez that um, is well known from where I am and actually filmed literally around the corner from where I live. Uh, we all know about Kez. We used to, uh, that was a book we used to have to read at school. There you go, it was brilliant. Kez, K E S, yeah. It's about yeah, a little it? boy that gets a hawk, you know, bird of prey. Well, I never Kestrel. heard Kestrel, yeah. yeah. Never heard of it? No. Yeah. <gasps> Can't believe you've not heard that. No. We, yeah. we, we, we read Stig of the Dump at my school. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got loads of comments. I think I read Jessica's wonderful card, Lynn, lovely Becky, thank you. Marianne says you could use a plastic yarn needle to use all sorts of fun yarns, embroidery threads like hand dyed, perfect, cotton, perfect for cotton. Yep. Mary Pat 1000, very pretty. Pam says she's hiding in the garden. Then it suddenly went, oh, hubby is coming this way. He doesn't see me, but I'll catch you all later. Going to find a beverage. Well, bye, Pam. <laughs> she's gone. Carletta's beautiful card. Uh, Becky. Oh, Stephanie says, Corinne, I watched an older video with you about gilding flakes last night as I worked on a baptism card for a great nephew. You, she used the angel collection and applied the gilding flakes to the wings um, embossed folders. I think it turned out pretty well. Thanks for the tips. Good. Um, Patricia says, that dress really is lovely. Thank you. Uh, Lillian Cook says, look at the mess on Corinne's counter. Well, it's tidy now. It's tidy now. I just had to put it back in the box. That was all, so it wasn't too bad. Anyway, we're just going to show you this one again. These are your edible um, ribbon threading dies. So you obviously you've got the choice: the crater cards that we saw a few minutes ago, or these ones, which are your ribbon threadings. I love these because you've got their their panels. They cut in, they cut out. You can cut them in and out at the same time by just using one edge. We've got alluring Aztec here. We've got charming hearts. I mean, this, just cutting here into your cardstock looks lovely. And then you've got the next one, which is, oops, there we go, Entwined Elegance. We really like that one. That one looks really pretty. And then you've got Decorative Flourish. Gorgeous one here. You've got Modern Geometric. And finally, you've got Delicate Butterfly as well. Now, if you want all of those, because remember, uh, Charming Hearts is only now available in the bundle. You can't buy that individually. You're going to get all 18 of these. So you've got um, six sets, three on each. £40, $50, or your platinum price right down there, £32.50. $40, which is a brilliant, brilliant price. And you can make that even better if you haven't yet used your code SUMMER. So make sure you do that. Right, Becky, you look like you're ready to do us another demo, please. I am, and I'm going to give Corinne the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> the heebie-jeebies. Oh, OK. Right, Lee says if it's hot on the side, she doesn't want to know. So I better go home then. <laughs> Who? Her or you? You're just going to have to put up with it, I'm afraid, Lily. I'm using hearts on the side. Hearts on the side. It's all right. It's going to be OK. It's going to be OK. Right, we're going to cut the, the, hearts, the hearts out in com completely. Um, <laughs> Lily says you've cut her heart out and stamped on it. Oh, I'm so sorry. If only I'd known that it would upset so many people, I would have done all of them like this. <laughs> <laughs> you're very, well, yeah, we are very you're picky, very picky, picky nickety. Nickety. All right, pickernickety. I do love that pickernickety. Is I have. Um, there's a lady that I used to work with who's from Turkey, and um, you don't have the letter um, V in Turkey. It's pronounced W. Um, so, <laughs> so we worked for um, my husband's estate agency, so prop in property, and she had to speak to a builder and arrange for um, a little valve to be put on the radiator. And do you know what they're called? Prompt. They're called thermostatic valves but when she pronounced it it was a thermostatic valve <laughs> and the builder was Polish 
I cannot tell you how long it took for everyone to understand what they were supposed to be doing. Because he couldn't understand her, her through her accent. She couldn't understand him through his accent. It, eventually, we had a, a thermostatic valve picked up, uh, put onto the property. Thermostatic valve. Pernickety. That's the word. Right, so we're going to cut that out in its entirety. So we've got the main uh, die in the middle. And then we've got the outer dies as well. And I've just lined them up, more or less. More or less there. They should they should fit nicely um, together. If not, you just need to trim that with a little um, your, your scissors or a little knife afterwards, but it should be fine. Um, so clear plate or white plate, frosted shim, magnetic shim over the top, and then the other clear cutting or white cutting plate over the top. Give it to your machine. We just put the low tap tape on there. Yeah. So seven ninety eight for all three um, packs with. Um, two in each pack is that right three packs with two in that's right yes um six in total um you could is that right? i thought there was three in a pack of low tap tape three in a pack oh three times two. Oh, i thought you got a pack free I'm, I'm 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 doing it the wrong way around yeah so yeah really good you're getting 20 percent discount so you get two packs with three in each one. I went the wrong way because I was thinking you would buy two, get one, three. What were we talking about a minute ago that was buy the cloud glue that was buy two, get one, three? That's where I'm getting confused. So many products, so many products in one day. There we go. Right, That's back to Becky. Sorry about That's that. That's it. Becky. We've, we've got, got too many good, too many good deals. That's what it is. Um, <clears> get, we get, we're getting discombobulated. There's, yeah. another, there's another way for it. Oh, just drop that on the floor. I'm going to give it a couple of bangs. Just get rid. What have you done? It went, straight, it went straight in my mouth. That is because I'm always talking. I've always got my mouth open. All uh, right. OK. There we go. So we are just moving that gently from the die. I'm going to have to clean that die a bit later. And you can see you've got these beautiful hearts. Now, hearts must never be on the side <laughs> or upside down. They must always be this way, yeah. apart from today. <laughs> when we're just going to, we're just going to wing it, I'm afraid. Can you not um, change your project? No. In, in, in a word, <laughs> would yeah, you like to a, think about it's a it? No, no, no. Would you like to think about it and consider it? No, I'm not, I'm not changing it, Corey. Not just for you. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not, <laughs> No, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't work it out. <laughs> I have to change it around the other way. No, I can't do it. A right, little bit of tape on here just to make it a little bit easier to cut through or to put through. Okay. And we're just going to run it through the channel in the middle where the hearts are. Um, we, but you could, you know, there's loads of other little bits and pieces you can thread um, other bits and pieces through, like the twine, um, like some of your embroidery threads. Um, if you want to use some of the thread that I used earlier on, that's a, a cr um, cruel work thread. It's got like a gloss to it, but it's like a twisted, almost like um, a worsted wool kind of thing. Um, so we've got some bright pink ribbon that we're just running through the middle here. And, and it does work if you wanted to use slightly larger ribbon, slightly thicker, provided it's quite thin and you're going to be a bit careful sort of pushing it through. But then you get like a, almost like a pleated effect, um, which can look quite nice. It's a little bit easier when you've got the tape on your, mm. um, on your ribbon, definitely. It certainly is. And especially if you cut it at a little angle like I've done here, that makes it even easier. Full circle conversations. Lillian says that dye looks like fancy underwear trim. We're it all the way back round. I could imagine a garter, a garter made out of this. Actually, it might be quite good if you're doing like, um, you know, sort of a, a bachelorette kind of party, yeah. invitations, that kind of thing. You could do yeah. something a bit like that. It would, wouldn't that it? Would quite do nice. you know what? Our viewers know you so well. Marianne says, lol, Becky, you would have done them all sideways if you'd have known. <laughs> I absolutely would. If I'd known it was going to be such a problem, I would have made sure I would have yeah, done back to front. You see, Laurie came up with the, the answer. You could have put the ribbon through the hearts and then we wouldn't be able to see there were hearts and then we yeah, wouldn't know that there were sideways. Yeah, we could do that, absolutely. There could have been some options, but no, I just This card's going to win Demo of the Week or something <laughs> like that, isn't it? It needs to win Demo of the Month, if um, it's... Demo of the Month? <laughs> wow. Right, so I've got that there. I know I'm going to have to trim the edges, so I'm not going to finish off the ribbon um, right at this moment. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my card. Um, so I've got um, some of the papers from the... Uh, summer... Colours colors of Summer. Yeah. Um, I love this. This is gorgeous. And I bought them. I've got the matching 
I've got the matching um, solid colours as well because they are just absolutely beautiful. Um, so we're going to use um, this sort of dark green. I'm going to use, on one side of my card, I'm going to use um, the spots. On the other side, I'm going to use the flowers. I think they're both equally beautiful, um, but I really, really love these colours. I think they're stunning. So we're going to use a little bit of your glue around here. There we go, round here. And then just build those little mats and layers. I think this is, I, lo I really like this kind of, it's not even a, I I'd call this a soft tomato. Soft, soft tomato. tomato. I, I don't like tomatoes full stop, I think they're horrid. They're nightshade, ugh, look, disgusting. No, no, I don't like them. No. I don't mind a sun-dried tomato. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes. Tomatoes grow on vines. I'm all right with a vine. So it's like, um, like grapes I'm okay with. Oh, it's really complicated. Yeah, like I say, you know, it's... it's Silver birch. It, yeah, whenever you allergies, go to, whenever you go to like a restaurant and they go, have you got any allergies? And whoever I'm with goes, oh God. So will they have a family reactors then? Yeah, well, and friends. Um, we went... Uh, Anything that goes in a tree or an avocado, yeah. easy. Sometimes um, we, when we go to places and they'll say, well, would you like a, a bellini or something like that? And I say, oh, is it made with fresh peach juice? And I can see the people wanting to say yes because they think that that's what I want to hear. And I said, because I'm allergic to fresh juice, they'll go, no, it's concentrated. Fine, that's great. I can have it. It's good. Um, but, you know, sometimes people go, oh, no, it's no. Um, you, you know, it, it's definitely all fresh and you're like, oh, I can't have it then. And it's all disappointing if you can't have it. Just making sure I've got this around the right way. Um, so I want to do, I'm going to do that. You're uh, doing a reverse easel. I am. I'm just trying to get it, trying to make sure I'm not doing it around the wrong way. Um, so what I want to do is I want to have this piece down here with all my florals. And then on this piece of card here, I'm going to put this piece and that's going to then sit on here no that's not what you plan to do turn that other piece do the fold the other way and then it'll work i don't know around the wrong way then no just do the fold the other way mm. that's yeah. it you're there yeah do you there know you what go. it's because it's all been folded up in my bag yeah got it got it around the wrong way so that's going to be like that yeah that, that's, that's a jobby it. thank goodness of corin's here to keep me on the straight and narrow now I could see where you'd gone. I could see what you were doing to achieve, trying to achieve. You could, you could work out what I was trying to do. <laughs> even if you could even, even if I didn't know, which is always, always a problem. I'll pop that down here. What about spaghetti sauce made from tomatoes or ketchup? Asked Susie. Um, it, it's okay. I think it's all to do with cooking. Yeah. So I don't, it's fresh, I don't. Yeah, fresh I don't have a tomato. reaction to um, tomatoes. They seem to be fine. I just don't like them. Don't they make your think when people cut them? Do you not find they make your fingers funny? No. no? But oh. squash does. Butternut squash and things like oh, that. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Make, make your fingers go. No! <laughs> make your fingers go fizzy. They make you, says a child. It clearly makes your face go funny <laughs> as well. <laughs> No, is there, I'm sure there are people. Message in. Do you, does anyone else have a problem actually cutting tomatoes? So I, I no, but I can't touch a peach. Oh, really? Oh, peach skin. Oh, I've well, made. I when I was a child, I used to make my mum peel peaches. Yeah. That was pre sort of days where nectarines were, didn't. Re, nectarines were like posh people's fruit. We didn't have nectarines. Now they're they're about. But I couldn't eat a peach. Oh. Because no. you know. Oh. Oh no, the skin. I used to come out in goosebumps. Oh, if you it's, put the peach skin pleasant, near my lips. It? It's a bit like a kiwi. I mean, no, none, of these, none of these things I can actually eat anyway, but... You eat kiwi skin? What is wrong with you? Lily eats kiwis whole, skin and all. Oh, Lily, there's something wrong with you. She cuts it into four like apple and eats it in quarters. That's, that's really that's peculiar, rubbish. Lily. That is odd. You eat the of what, Charlotte? Yeah, there's not much waste of pear. Out of pear, you have the little tiny bits at the bottom, and that's all. Yeah. No, I don't. No, that, that's weird. You're all peculiar. Right, six and a half. So I need to just trim this to six and a half um, inches. And then I need to do all of these strips to the same um, length as well so all six and a half inches so I've cut um, some out of um, the green and I've also cut some out of the pinky color 
it goes really well with um, that. It's all from that solids collection. Um, so we've got that linen cardstock. Six and a half. You're getting some reaction, Lily, to eating your whole, whole um, kiwis. <laughs> it really isn't, Lily. Jessica says, my husband's son and daughter hate tomatoes. They don't like the texture, but they'll eat spaghetti sauce, mar mar marinara, marinara and ketchup. Yeah. yeah. It's like what you said, isn't it, um, Becky? They're yeah. cooked. Yeah, different. it's cooked and it, it sort of changes um, how it is, um, definitely. Um, I'm just trimming that to make sure it's the right size. And I'm going to have to trim from here as well. That's fine. You don't Should eat banana, eat banana skin, skin, Lily. Thank goodness for that. Can you eat it? Oh, yeah, you could. Oh, yeah, if you cook it. Oh, um, Nigella did a recipe with it, didn't she? She made a curry um, with banana skin. Did she? Um, yeah, I think it was the same episode where she was using her microwave. Oh, what, what? Her microwave. Oh, a microwave. Yeah. Yes. Microwave. Yeah, Sil Sparky says she doesn't like anything with a fuzzy skin like a peach. It's really nasty. Um, should I say she loves a kiwi, but the skin's got to be off. I can't, I can't even eat kiwi. I can't go anywhere near a kiwi. That's really bad. And I used to like, really like them, but, you know, there's, it's, quite, um, it's quite a common allergy, um, kiwis. Um, I'm full of useless information. We've, I've told everybody this many, many times. Becky, you're, it is good for quizzes, you're right. Oh, oh that. no, it's not on. Normally on a Saturday night, it's Michelle and I up in the house and we watch um, um, the One Percent Club. Yeah. Is it not on? Is it not on tonight? No, it's finished. I think. Oh, has it? I love the One Percent Club. What are we going? It, it's not. It's not. Um, it's not knowledge. So it's some they'll, of it is. Uh, it's put things on the screen and you've got to it's work like out verbal reasoning and non-verbal yeah, reasoning, isn't it? Yeah. Reasoning it. It's really, really good. Get really good on that one. Oh, yeah, I'd like to do catchphrase. That, that's quite good. I like watching um, University Challenge. And I, if, I, if I can get one right, I feel quite proud. Maybe we could have play a craft right with something like catchphrase. Oh, yeah, that'd be really good. But I'm just going to burnish on here and then take that off. Oh, there you go. Lily's mum did her a catchphrase type cake for Aww. her sweet 16th. There we go. She was just telling us. Were you, have you always um, been vegan, Lily? She's been vegan for about five years. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Right. Challenging is the word I'd use, Lily. If you're challenging. <laughs> right. I'm just... I'm just going to fold that over there. There's a right way to do things and there's a wrong way like to do that. things. That's all I'm just going to say. So I've got two pieces here that I have cut and they're ready to use. And look, they're going that way. And look, I'm going to make that one go that way. Wow. I know, I know. I'm going to upset you all. Um, right, so I want to pop them on the green first of all, um, like this. And then I'm going to pop it onto the pink as well. Okay. Um, th this yes, does look very a bit watermelon, like watermelon. isn't it? I'm going to take a bit of um, card here. So I'm going to, going to use my um, dotty tape pen. Yeah. Easiest way, isn't it? Only no. connect is a dip to. And that is really hard. And again, that, only that's, connect. Yeah, only connect. And that is that's on just before university challenge, um, and that normally puts me in a really bad mood because I'm not very good at it. And if but if I am, I am I'm I'm so excited by it. It's really hard, really hard. Yeah, I completely agree. If you get one, you're going to be celebrating. That. It's a good, you would okay. like it. A little, little you see, Hubby and I, we are so, so we watch quiz shows together. But he likes at tea time. He likes Pointless on BBC One, oh, and I like The Chase on ITV. I prefer The Chase. Yeah. Yeah. That's so just free. And pop that green on here as well. Lovely colour combinations. Are you hungry now, Lily? 
No. Lily doesn't like watermelon, so it's not making her hungry. Okay. I, I, I've, um, I've never been keen on watermelon. No. No, I don't like melon. All right, I'm just lining that up on this strip here. If you've never said to anybody at a party, I carried the watermelon. <laughs> I've never said it, no. 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 <laughs> I've never had that opportunity. What a shame, eh? I know. I'm just going to trim that little piece off down there just so it's nice and straight and I'm going to do exactly the same on this piece here okay right the next one we're going next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this one and I'm going to pop it up um, here I'm just going to put it down flat on here and I just want to make sure hmm what happened to that I've lost my sentiment oh no it's uh, with that strip of card oh so annoying oh. do you know when you finish you'll put everything away I know I'll appear. find it attached to something well we're gonna have to let me take the one off here because just show us that one when it's when you finish. Oh, yeah, all right, I'll do that. Um, so uh, my, my sentiment's going to go up the top here, so I want to drop this down. I don't want that right in the middle, and I don't want it um, raised either. So, again, I'm just going to use the tape pen and put some tape adhesive on here and place that here. And sentiment's going to go up here, but then I've made some flowers um, as a flower-forming foam, um, to pop on here these these aren't these actually the clover dyes but they do look a lot like the winter white the the stamens are winter white and the foliage that I've got is from oh no what you doing no I'm just trying to remember what it's called I've got it over here it's called um just foliage <laughs> it's this one here so I'm going to pop those down here I'm going to trim off the um little bit of um thread from the stamens and use a little bit of the um, cloud glue uh, there were loads of comments come through it didn't scroll down on my phone I have to read through these because it's just making me giggle there's the comments that are coming through that is beautiful with those um, with those gorgeous flowers Thank you. I'm just gonna like that, and we're going to put a little bit of foliage around here. With our foliage dies. Really, really beautiful little ones. Because sometimes you don't get a lot of foliage with some of the flowers, so it's nice to have um, dyes. Well, yeah, and if you, sometimes you do, like you said about anchoring it. You absolutely yeah. you do need to anchor it because it just does, nothing looks right without that foliage. Um, you just need something to to finish it all off. And also, I think something to bring another colour in. Yes. Yeah, it just, just adds that extra contrast, doesn't it? Yeah. It really does. I did think oh. maybe I might put some... Helicopters coming in to land. That's cut, uh, sorry, that's, my, that's my, my ride back home later. Oh, is it? Going home by helicopter, of course. I thought it was Ben coming in. So um, I did think maybe I'd use some of the stamens um, and then use those a little bit of a dec decoration around here. Maybe I'll do that. Sorry, you can't hear very much. It seems, I think that helicopter might be about to land outside the door. It is very loud, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Right. Now That's I'm gonna pop, so pretty. I'm going to pop a bit of um, glue onto here, a bit of tape. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Lily. She didn't want to walk home in the rain, so they sent her a helicopter for her so that she didn't have to walk home in the rain. Um, have I done the round of our way? Yeah, I've done that. So then that will... So pretty. On the wrong side, on the on the wonk as. No, we're not going to hide them. We're not going to mm. hide them at all. And we're going to pop that down here on some foam pads. So that it's even more visible. Yeah. So it's really visible. And I'm going to have I'm going to have it on the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> if only oh you'd known how gosh. easy it was to wind everybody up. This is brilliant. I what do you do think, it. Charlotte? What's your opinion, Charlotte? She's very quiet. I haven't heard Charlotte for ages. 
you what what she's easy no no i'm sure i can um pop that down so i want it I want it sort of here there we go like that and then pop a little bow just to the bottom so it can go there so if I had my um, if I had my sentiment in the right place, it would look like this. Oh, that's lovely! That is absolutely gorgeous. I do like that. Now the only way you can do that is if you buy our red uh, ribbon threading die set, and you have to buy the complete collection because Becky used our charming hearts on that, and that is only available. So this one here available is part of this collection. All six sets, um, 18 dies in total, 40 pounds, 50 dollars, or 32 pounds. $40 if you are platinum. Don't forget to use your code SUMMER if you want to. Got a couple more comments. I was just making me, this was um, just making me um, uh, laugh. Should I, says Corinne, I do not, um, do not peach either. I think she means do not eat peaches either. Cannot touch it, so do not eat it. Goosebumps, exactly. Sue Benson's in from Montana. Good afternoon. Silv um, Sparky says, I can't eat anything with fuzzy skin like a peach. It's really nasty. There you go. Should I, loves the skin. Uh, loves the kiwi skin off. Lillian Quat says, I hate tomatoes too. Sp spaghetti and pizza is okay, but they're better not be visible. Pips, rolled up skin and the corbett. Ketchup, no. How did we get onto this with um, crafting? I don't know. <laughs> Lily, you, yeah, kiwi skin. Ha ha, but have you tried the sun gold um, kiwi? They are so good are without they the, the skin. yellow ones? Sun gold kiwi, have you yeah. seen them? I think they're yellow, aren't they? Yes, like, yeah. quite, like golden yellow. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Kirsty D says her granddad eats kiwis holes. We have told him to peel them. Kirsty, according to Lily, you don't need to peel them, so he's all right. Um, Sue Benson loves fresh peaches, but not the skin. Oh, Lillian, thank you. She says when she was six, she was eat happily eating her lunch at school when the girl next to me produced an overripe tomato. She bit into it and all the foul what? green sludge. Why green? She means the pips in the middle. I don't know. Burst out all over the place. It freaked me out for life and I can't bear the greenish smell either. Well, no one didn't really know that. Either. Thank you for sharing that. We're <laughs> so happy. Um, Laurie says kiwi has double the amount of vitamin C as compared to an orange. So it's very good for you. So it's even probably got more than broccoli as well becky she loves pineapple but it makes your t her tongue sore um, ha eat it with a spoonful of greek yogurt we eat a lot of pineapples in our house and we always have a spoonful of greek yogurt on it takes the acidity away you don't get any any the, um, sore um, tongue there you bromine, go. isn't it it's a it's a meat tenderizer um in pineapple so that, that's basically if you were we were bashing a um, a piece of meat to yeah. tenderise it. That's effectively what pineapple does to your mouth when you eat it because mm. um, of the, the yeah. chemicals. So go with that. a bit of natural mm. um, that was sort Greek of what yogurt and pH. Alcohol and pH, yeah, there we go. Mm. Marianne Squ uh, Squire Mazer says, have organic nectarines that are positively a blessing. So delicious and juicy, my favourite fruit. Oh, my goodness me. It's all about the fruit. Um, Marianne Johnson says, you're a rebel. Um, Phil Watson says, on quizzes, I love only connect. That's what you said. Love this project, says Debbie. Um, yeah. <laughs> Susie's laughing because I said I carried a watermelon. It's one of my favourite films. Peaches freaked me out too. Again, as a kid, my sister was eating one, left it on the side and came back a few minutes later to find a maggot run. <laughs> making a run for it. Maybe, OK then. Um, one kiwi a day kept Covid away from me. Just saying, said Shudaya. Um, looks like a garter and an old-fashioned summer dress, said Sue. We said that or we said a, a garter, like suspend about. Um, evening all, just popped in on my break at work, says Hannah Gosling-Smith. You don't know what you've walked into, Hannah. I'm sorry. And um, that looks so nice with that paper. It really does, says Patricia. Valerie says, this is beautiful, Becky. Lovely card, Becky, says Carletta. Shudaya, love that card. Have all the ribbon dyed collections love them um sideways hearts don't bother me i think it turned out great said jessica stricker yes it did turn out beautiful but we're just winding her up because it's easy to do um lynn M morton <laughs> says lovely becky and pamela says great tip using the stamens as decorations behind the flowers 
absolutely beautiful so we've loved all your comments thank you don't know how we got onto half of those topics okay i'm going to show you um a little bundle that we've got today this is our die cutting tool starter collection now the price on this is absolutely amazing it's a 35 percent saving you're going to get your three rolls of low tack um, tape you've seen becky using so much of this today you see why you need three rolls you're going to get your two pokey tools then you're going to get your dye brush and pass it you don't need to bastardize like becky did but i do too so i'm not saying anything because that's how i clean mine um and also with your three replacement heads for your tool now all of that should be 15 pounds 96 or 25 dollars but you're not paying that you're going to get oh wow i just had a thought 10 pound 37 or 16 dollars 75 is your today's price so you're saving 35 percent if you're platinum £8.30 or $13.42. Brilliant price for all of that. But if you haven't used your code SUMMER, that is now £3.30 or $8.42. Just saying, what an amazing price. Okay, so talking about amazing prices, they've actually given us this one in a much prettier box. So this is your Christmas treasure box box again it's not going to come in the box and again if you buy um, more than one you're going to get duplicates so the first thing is because it won't fit in the box is your violet studio nutcracker paper pad i love this one now this one might have been used because i'm sure those aren't normally at the top i thought it was something different at the top but look at this you've got these gorgeous bells you've got these lovely cool um toppers that you can cut out you've got Sheets that are going to be brilliant for scenes. You've got quarter cards, so those are six by six. You've got all of these if you want to cut them out. You've got ornaments. Look at these. Some of these here, you could just use a circular die or a square die and cut those out. Beautiful, beautiful toppers. Look at that paper pad. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Now, we've got foiling in there. Can you see the foiling? Absolutely beautiful. And then you've got the little um, ballerina the nutcracker ballerina and you've got foiling here on the trees or oh, you can see that sparkling can't you two of each sheet i've got foiling on the stars here on the florals beautiful aren't they you've got the holly and then you've got the garlands look at this foiling there's nothing about that that says nutcracker or christmas um absolutely use it i think i was using that on a baby card a scratch and reveal baby card the other day then you've got the burgundy again you could use that for many occasions and the stripes and the blue so this is going to work lots so that's your first bit that is your nutcracker paper pad again this is another 200 pounds 250 dollars worth of value now we're going to give you your glue pen it's your um regular strong one now this one oh this is nice frosted embellishment i'm going to show you the back so you've got the you've got stamps and dies you've got the snowman you've got the bells you've got the little robin you've got the poinsettia and you've got all of the appropriate dies to cut them out aren't they lovely you can see them through there you've got your winter opulence which is a it's going to create stunning 3d decoration so you've got this so it's going to make that bauble and the bow which is going to look brilliant um oh Oh, I like these ones. You've got your jingle all the way. This is the sentiment, uh, shaped sentiment. I think that's what they're called. So intricate, intricate Christmas sentiments. Thank you. Oh, there's lots of these. So you've got jingle all the way. We wish you a Merry Christmas in the shape of a Christmas tree. You've got your warm Christmas wishes in the shape of a snowman. You've got your star of wood. You've got the whole collection. I've never seen a treasure box where you get the whole collection. You've got your Star of Wonder, and you've also got From Our Home to Yours on that one. So that is the complete collection of those, I believe. I'm sure five is the correct. Oh, right, there might have been one more, but it's, it's all, yeah, that's most of it. It's pretty impressive. You've got your festive bows in a stamp set. So that, oh, that is really pretty. Look at that. If you've got some of those shaped, um, the word dies, the big chunky words with the big letter O's, those are going to look gorgeous on there. You've got a cut and emboss, which is your cottage door. Christmas, yet. Yeah, but all year round as well. You've got your layerable dies. You've got your star of wonder. You've got your dies that are going to do the front and backs of the little bookmarks in the Christmas sparkle. Fancy sentiments in Christmas, fancy sentiments in Merry Christmas. Really usable, that. Then you've got woodland embellishments. So it's like the one that we saw at the beginning, which was 
frosted embellishments. This is woodland embellishments. So you've got the gorgeous deer, the build. Whoops, sorry, I'm just going to turn that round and have a look. Oh, it's a cottage, but it's on its side, so I couldn't see. You've got the trees and everything and the dyes. We're then going into frosty and bright. All of this, there is so much. You've got your Christmas tree edible. You're going to get your happy holidays, which is an edible, and your happy Christmas, which is an edible. Absolutely gorgeous. You're going to get oh Christmas tree from your vintage snowman and another of your fancy sentiments in jingle all the way. Oh, my goodness me. So look at this. £200, $250. Obviously, you're not going to get the box, but you're going to get all of this. This is amazing. You're going to get it all today's price is £50, $60. I'm sure there's some of here in here that you probably say, well, I've actually already got. Gift it. Gift it. Absolutely brilliant. Or split it with a friend. £40, $48. If you've got two, if there's two of you, split it. £20, $24. Perfect. Split it and you can work it between us. 50 bonus points on all of this. So not only are we giving it you for a fraction of the price, if you're platinum, it is basically less, it's 20% or less of the original price. 20% or less. Wow. 50 bonus points as well. I think the price alone is the bargain. But there you go. Right, we're going to give you just a few minutes to check out your everything, whether you've got the ribbon threading dies, either of these boxes. Have a look at that. And here's all about Clip Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire the Crafters Companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. of our viewers bring it up time and time again and that's our wax seal seal gate thinking though it might not work as well because i've put too much <laughs> <laughs> oh i've forgotten to put me um <laughs> me thing in place <laughs> because i have a way of words but i think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong water that, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say... It's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr uh, Ben Mosby. He is... Well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. Went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> I never knew Michelle with long red hair. Uh, you must yeah. have done. No, no, it was longer than it is now, yeah. but it wasn't like that. I know. Looks lovely. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I love she's, it. I think she's had the most hairstyles in the last two years. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Definitely. Yeah, every time she goes to hairdressers, it seems yeah, to come exactly. back differently. Something different. There we go. Right, we've got some lovely comments. Um, <laughs> Lovely bag. Oh, oh no, we have an awesome treasure box. That's the only one, the one that I hadn't read out from Laurie. And it really is. Both of those treasure boxes are brilliant. Right now, the next one. You can't put this the wrong way round. It doesn't matter which way round she does this. This is going to be fine. Becky and um, Lily and I are all right with this one. So you're going to get your elaborate lace, which is the one that Becky used in the last summer. I love this. I love the mix of hearts and, and hearts, circles and little stuff like flowers. You're going to get your diagonal lace, which is beautiful too. You're then going to get your bold florals. As I say, every time I look at this, I see paper piecing possibilities on this one. And then you're going to get your Baroque swirls. So pretty and charming lace now you're going to get this for an amazing 65 percent saving 65 percent your today's price is 23 pounds or 26 dollars which is amazing amazing value just over four pounds or just over five dollars per set platinum price is 18 pound 40 or 20 dollars 80 but don't forget to use your code summer if you've not already used it i know keep mind you but it's going to run out tomorrow i'll get make sure becky keeps reminding you tomorrow because that will be the last chance and now our oh, becky did i see box mm. Mm, okay becky let's have a go well, i'm going to use the bold floors but i'm going to use them in the way you don't want me to and i'm going to use them upside down and inside out oh so i'm not going to i'm just going to use all the all the i, I wish i i wish I, I should have thought about that i should have just kept all the little bits and made them into a flower um, just to be difficult. Um, right, we're going to be using this and I'm going to have a go at making a box. Exciting! Right, I've got some more of the summer... Colours of summer. Colours of summer. Why, I want to call it Spirit of Summer. You know what I mean, this one. Um, we're going to be using some of that. I'm going to be using the polka dot um, side. So I want to cut out the whole thing um, out of this polka dot um, card. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love every colour that's in this collection. It is all absolutely stunning. Um, I love that they give you the outer die separate, so if you want a bigger border, you can. Yeah, yeah. It just gives you choice, doesn't it? And it options. does. Yeah, it really does. And I think this is my favourite one out of these um, creator cards. I love this. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely. Right. Now, we're going to run that through the Gemini. Um, I have... I'm trying to get away with not taping onto my um, my actual um, plate, plate yeah. but um, I am finding it a bit of a struggle because that's all I really want to do. I want to just sort of secure it on there. Um, so I'll put that through the machine. And this is the this one I thought would look really nice, sort of layered up. Um, if you'd cut this one out, and lots of different layers, maybe stamping on two layers and then layering it all up to mm -hmm. get that kind of like 3D effect. Um, I was going to give that a whirl, but didn't get quite get a chance to. Um, when I was working everything out. All of these dies will go through your smaller platforms, your midi, your junior, um, as well as um, your main dice, um, Gemini. Okay, so there we've got that beautiful die cut out of all of that. Um, actually, I've picked up the wrong one. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Um, I've got the wrong one in the box. I've got a different one, so I've not got the bold florals one. This is um, one that's more like an ellipsis that I've just cut out. It doesn't matter um, because I, I can show you what I'm going to do. I was obviously um, crafting so much, I've got. It's not the bold florals, is this one here. Is that not the same? No, it's two different ones. Oh no, you're right. Exactly it the is the same. I'm just. I'm. Do you know what? I'm just looking at it. You've you've not I'm, used a border on the other one, and yeah. you've used a border do you know on what this. I, do you know what it is? I'm looking at the different parts of it. And it, it is. It does because you're noticing the. You're not noticing the flowers here. You're noticing those flowers in the circle there. It is exactly the same. It's crazy, crazy woman. Anyway, well, there you go. But there's that one. And I've already. St I've already started um, threading some of my ribbon through here. So I'm going to continue with that. Um, so I've already put a little bit um, on there. I just want to finish up those last couple of little sections. I don't know. I, was, I, was I think this one is really versatile in the direction and the position yeah. of your ribbon threading. There's quite a lot of options. You could almost do ribbon threading weaving on this one because yeah. you could go um, diagonally one way with one colour and diagonally the other way with another colour. Absolutely you could, yeah. No, you could do that quite easily. So it's just looking at 
if I bring in a piece of white card, you can probably see a little bit better. So you've got that sort of squarish flower here, and there's another squarish flower there. So that's where I want to start um, putting the ribbon through. Because you, you, know, you say you've got so many different channels, you can pop this through. If you want to keep it sort of more uniformed, um, you want to make sure you're doing it in the right place. Now, I am using very fine ribbon here. It's three mils um, thick or three mils thin, whichever way you want to put it. Um, and it's a double-sided a double sided satin ribbon. Uh, but actually, it looks really nice with a little bit of organza ribbon, mm -hmm. um, if you've got some of that too. So a tiny bit here. There you go. Our Lily's coming up with an everyday um, treasure box. Had the iris folding strips in that you could trim down and then you could um, weave through with those. Brilliant idea. I think there's just so many different things you could do with these, aren't there? Yes. Lots of lovely ways to use these. So gorgeous. Just threading through those two pieces. And I've got to finish off where I've threaded this ribbon. Um, but you can see I've done the sort of the bulk of it in those two sort of larger um, points. But you could go across here as well. So you could do, um, you know, you could do sort of multiple different types of um, weaving in and out all of those different areas. But the thing is with this, I'm watching you do this, it doesn't matter where you start, you know it's always going to work. And then that sounds funny, but I have seen ribbon threading dies where you've gone up and down and then it's ended up on the wrong side at the end. Yeah. They haven't had the right number of holes. These have the right number of holes no matter which direction you're going in. So that's really, really useful to know. It definitely is. It does make it, you know, make, otherwise you're going to be worrying, aren't you? That yeah. you've not quite got it in the right place. A bit of tape there, a bit more around here. So I'm only going to put, just hold everything down for the moment. Obviously, it's all going to be secured once I stick it um, all down properly. But just so those pieces of ribbon um, don't come yeah, out. Yeah, because they're satin, they slide, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they do. Um, I just need to take that bit of tape off there. That was silly. I didn't remove that tape before I. Oh, you've cut still got the... your tape on. Never mind. There you go. It's not a big deal. There's another little bit down here, just to get rid of that little bit of tape. It was um, I, I really enjoyed sort of going through all my ribbons that I had at home, and I had some ribbons that I'd bought years ago. I bought a book, which was about like how to run your home properly. And it was um, almost sort of like the different fragrances you should have in different rooms and things like that. It was a book that was in print for about 10 minutes and then you know, no one's ever bought it since. And there was a, an article in there about how you should, um, when, you are, when you put your bed linen away, you should wrap it with a, a ribbon. Um, so you have your bed linen and your, your, your duvets and your pillowcases and they're wrapped with a ribbon and you have different ribbons for different um, size bed linen. So I bought this ribbon um, in bulk, thinking, oh, this is what I was going to do. Um, I was going to be um, popping all my bed linen and wrapping it all up. And then I realised, why on earth would I do that? Because I've got a life. Uh, and <laughs> or life... how about if you really did need to, just put all the bedding for a certain bed inside the pillowcase? Oh, no, I don't like that. Don't Cause, you? No, because it means one pillowcase is slightly... Um, no, I'm just saying, if you wanted flat. to, rather than wrap it in ribbon, that's the other, you know, that's the nearest yeah. alternative. Or alternatively, just don't worry too much about it. Yeah, that's, that's very of, true. That's sort of what I've got in, in my head now. I like the idea, but I had reels of um, ribbon in um, spotty ribbon, like spotty grey grain ribbon, which looked quite nice. So I did quite like that. Right, so I've re threaded that all through. Um, now I'm just going to put my box together um, and, I, and get the little bit of tape that I stuck on there. So I've already scored my box. So I took the size of the die and I basically worked everything out from there. Um, so I wanted the die to fit um, in there with a little bit of um, a, a border around it. And then I just worked out two inches, um, scored to two inches um, beyond that um, mm -hmm. to create the box. So it was just a quick and easy box. And I'm just going to trim down here, and cut away those little corners so it's easy to put this all together. And down here. Is that one your base or your lid? This one's my base. This is all about the base, not the base. And then I'll just trim that little bit off as well. 
I do like a box, but I, I think a box should be filled with Turkish Delight. Turkish Delight? Mm -hmm. that's it, that random. stems from watching, well, no, reading, I think, first, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. And um, when, as Edward gets a, a box of um, Turkish Delight. Yeah. Edmund, that's it. Edmund, yeah. not Edward. Yeah. And um, I always think, you know, that, that to me looked so, or sounded so delicious. And then when I watched on, the film... On the, on the sledge with the, war, with mm -hmm. the big blankets yeah. over his knees. Yeah. And I just sort of thought, oh, that's what I want. That's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have um, the um, Turkish Delight in there. And I remember my dad loved Turkish Delight. And as a kid, I'd think, oh, I'll have a bit of that for my dad's Turkish Delight. And it was absolutely revolting. I mean, I love it now. Like it? I love it now, but as a child, I didn't like it. All right. It was horrid. Maybe it was too rosy, the one yeah. that you had. Whereas now, I like proper Turkish Delight that's slightly chewy, rather yes. than the ones that you used to get in the UK when you were when I was young. So there's my box base and here is my box lid and I want to pop this on the top of here like that. Um, so I want to use some of my um, tacky glue to go over this. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time just making sure that I've got, I keep picking up the wrong tacky dirty tape pen here. Did you just say tacky glue? You mean tape pen? I mean pen. tape pen, yeah. It's been a long day. It has. No, it's absolutely fine. You just confused uh, me for a minute. After we were really awoken this morning, <laughs> it was quite I bizarre. was already through the shower. That was really, really quite strange, actually, hearing that. I was like, I bet it oh. was if you're all snuggled down. Yeah. In well, I, I mean, and originally I thought, oh, somebody's playing, playing a really loud music in the morning. And I was like, mm, it doesn't seem like the kind of music you normally hear from the house. Um, and then realised it was um, happening from directly opposite. So I got a great little video of it, um, which I sent to my, my husband and the kids um, on holiday. So they are... Oh, that's just come through that little bit of just ribbon. I think you've got one that needs pulling back again. Yeah. Let's pull that, pull that in there. Obviously not quite secured it, right? Yeah, it was very, very loud. It was really loud. Yes. It was a it's it's um it's miners meet it's that they do um every year. It's a big competition tomorrow, yeah. isn't it? In Durham. It was it was really impressive. So if anyone's watching that it was in that band, you were really good. They were very good. It was really quite spectacular listening to what they were doing. Very good. No, no, it's definitely not. Okay, so that should be all That's in place pretty, now. Isn't it? And I like the white behind. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, do you need a mat? No, but actually you don't. The white really makes those. And the way you've picked those ribbons, I can really see those flowers. Yes, you can. And I think that's the key thing with all of those dyes. If you do take a different aspect of it, you notice something different mm -hmm. because you've got all those different channels. Using a different colour uh, maybe might be the way to go. I'm not doing very well with tape pens, but um, using a different colour, you might get, you might get a more of a, a particular feel to it. I'm just going to trim those little bits off, actually, before I stick this together. But, um, they're a really lovely set of dyes. I've had great fun playing with these. Really, really lovely. Right, we're going to have to do a demo of the show after you've done that because it's then got demo of the day. It's going to be really busy. Do you think I might win demo of the day? Oh. Do you know what? I was the only expert on the other day and I didn't win demo of the day. So <laughs> there you go. What more can oh, I say? Oh, dear. I heard the story. I heard what the story. What can I say? Mm. I can't even win demo of the day when I'm the only one. Yeah. I didn't put the mats and layers on the edge of the, this. Yeah, aren't I silly? I just, they're sitting over here. I'm going to have to do them the wrong way around, which we always say don't do them this way, but we're going to have to do them this way. Yeah, I just, they were just out of my eye shot, and I was thinking, oh, I'm sure there's something else I was doing on this, but never mind. So I'm using the other side of that beautiful paper pad. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter because it's definitely still saves the show, you know, so she can go back for inspiration on these um, 
on these ribbon threading dies. Oh. She loves them. There you go. So nice when people say that they enjoyed the shows and yeah. they saved them. Oh, Good. it absolutely is. <laughs> I just love how you've got a piece of ribbon just randomly just, uh, stuck to your tape pen. <laughs> go away. That ribbon goes so well with your dress. Absolutely perfect, beautiful, beautiful colours. So we're almost done. Let's pop that together. And then we're just going to pop a couple of little um, foam pads on here. couple more over here as well. You see, what are you do? a few gems, did you say? Yeah, a couple of oh, gems, a couple sentiment. of sentiment, and I've got a couple of little butterflies. Now, I don't know where the butterflies came from, um, so just use some butterflies that you've got in your stash because we all have them. Um, I think down here. And then I just used um, a little bit of the pale fig um, mm -hmm. just on the very edges. It's not pale pig. Who said pale pig? Yeah, there's somebody who called it Pale Pig. <laughs> I can't remember who that was. That was quite funny. Pale Pig. And we're going to have a couple of little gems. I'm going to put a couple of little ones down here. Uh, so is that, is that going to be full, filled with Turkish Delight by the time we get to watch TV tonight? Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. You'd, have to, you'd have to drive me though, Corinne. To a Turkish Delight shop. Did I, need, did I need to take you somewhere to get some more food tonight before we... No, I'm all right, actually. Are you sure? Yeah. And then, but you've got to go shopping anyway. No, you've got to go to the I've got to go get petrol, petrol. that's all. Yeah, yeah. I think. It's all, it's all go when we're at the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are so, so rock and roll. There we go. There we go. Oh, and how then beautiful you've got is that? little box. I'm okay. loving that. I'm loving the colours. I love the 3D texture. They're absolutely beautiful. Now, if you want to be making that, then you need to get this um, ribbon threading die selection. So it's five sets. Oops, I've got them the right way round, even. And you're going to get um, elaborate lace, which you saw on the first demo. You're going to get this one, which is diagonal lace. And again, you'll be able to pick out lots of different ways to do that. You're going to get your bold florals, which you've just seen used. Look, you see, complete, completely different way to thread the ribbons through on here. Look, completely. It looks very different. Baroque swirls. I have to admit, I'd prefer Becky's way. And then finally, you've got charming lace as well. Now, if you want all of those, you're going to get 65% saving today. So your today's price is £23 or $26. It should be 60, nearly 65 or 75 um, Yeah, so £65, $75. Um, and then your platinum price today is £18.40 or $20.80. Uh, Becky, have you got your makes lined up? Right. I have. Do I that have. and then I'll read the comments. They, okay. Right. We've got four. Four. Yeah. So number one is the one using the delightful daisies. Then we've got number two using the uh, plaid pad. Plaid pad. Then we've got this one using using the horrible oh. heart shapes going the wrong way. No, the beautiful heart shapes are just in the wrong no, orientation. No, they're going. The one's going left. One's going right. That's even worse. And then finally. Um, we've got the box that I've just finished making. Oh, I love the fact it's really upsetting people. <laughs> One, two, three, or four, please vote. And then we will um, have go for... Yeah, Lily's saying, but don't vote for three. So you're all going to vote for it now, aren't you? I know you are. Um, Laurie loves the treasure box. Deborah says, I ordered the five-piece selection. Um, Carhartt can hardly wait to get them. After this presentation, going to dig out my ribbon threading dies and make some beautiful cards. This show's been so inspiring. That was so inspiring it says the dots on the paper look like stones says Patricia um, Stephanie says Becky they look different too with larger ribbon yep yeah, because they sort of squish down and then come out um, Deborah says these dies are so versatile in the different ways you can thread ribbon through them brilliant and I think you've seen that because the boards have been threaded different ways to um, what um, 
Becky's to thread them. Um, and she also said these, you can also do some fun inlays with these dies too. Um, Stephanie asked what paper pad this was. I think you said it. The Colours of summer. Colours of summer. Colours of Thank summer. You, of you summer. get the plane and the pattern. There we are. And Laurie says, I love hanging out with you all, crafting, chatting and cutting up. Well, thank you. That's that's what we want to hear, Laurie. I don't think we could ask for a better um, sentiment than that. Deborah, again, says, Crafter's Companion has the best paper designs and quality. Couldn't agree more. Terry Anderson says, beautiful box. Rhonda says, uh, oh, it was George that originally misspoke it and called it Pale Pig. There we are. Um, speaking of boxes, lovely, says Patricia. That box d design turned out beautiful, said Tricia. Carletta says, that's lovely, Becky. So there we are. We've not quite got um, a count just yet. So I'm just going to show you this gorgeous everyday treasure box. Again, £50, $60. It should be £200 or £250. Fifty dollars. I'm going to go fairly quickly through everything that you're going to get. So we've got low tack tape. We've got fine tip glue applicators and ribbon. Now these are are what you're going to get. So you will get duplicates if you order more than one. You're going to get your acrylic paint pens. You're going to get your celebrate die. You're going to get two of your sort of bookmark dies, one in the um, You're the Top Dog and one the Sparkle with Fairy Dust. So I think there were two different collections, but they're those. You've got Sentiment, which is Happy Thoughts. You've got two of your chalkboard stamps. One is Sweet Little Moments and one is Make Your Dreams Happen. Absolutely so much in here. You've got Love Never Ends. You've got two pop-out dies. You've got many thanks and best wishes. You've got a 3D floral in the lovely lilac. You've got your um, luminaires and lanterns from your Bell Countryside. You've got your tumbling waves and florals from your Natural Beauty. Modern Geometric, you've seen those today. You've got your edge crimper and your two pokey tools and your iris folding strips which you said would be brilliant for your ribbon threading three of your um yep yeah, these pens classiques thank you the words <laughs> there we are you got those so even if you've got them they're going to be brilliant for refills waterfall card hip hip hooray you've got one of your scoreboards for your ultimate pro and you've got your masterful mandalas now can i just say if you took two of these items just these two you're way way over the value of this box even if you pay the full today's price which i doubt if any of you are actually paying that price even if you pay that that is way over the value and then you've got all of this in front of me as well the value is insane 40 pounds or 48 dollars if you are platinum and then you're getting an extra 50 bonus points on top it truly is madness now apparently mm -hmm. no way no way it was very close between one and three susie i think you've got need to count again demo of the show yeah. goes to Number three. Yay! I knew you lot were going to do that. I just knew that you were going to do that. <laughs> right, you couldn't pop that over here, could you, please, Becky? Well, I please. can, provided you don't trash it because the hearts are going the wrong way. Well, that can't be promised. <laughs> can't be promised. Thank okay. you very much. It is a beautiful card. Thank you. It is Despite a beautiful card. I'm not going to you've got the hearts I'm not going to deny way. that. Right, <laughs> so, demo of the day. We have got number one, which was that gorgeous wine bottle bag with our gorgeous little penguins which launched today make sure you pick those up if you've got them number two was our placemat use it from our craft along absolutely gorgeous and number three is our ribbon threading dies from this show so three two or one Ooh, with a little penguin on the side right you pick is entirely your choice right um, what we're going to look at now. So we're going, oh, we're looking at these. Absolutely perfect. So we will go through the other ribbon threading dies that you have got. Now remember, the charming heart can only be bought 
in the bundle so if you have if you want the charming heart then the bundle is the only way to go because it's very low stock you've got the alluring aztec again there's so many of these that are going to work brilliantly for your masculine makes there is your i said charming charming hearts i don't know what i said charming hearts yeah absolutely beautiful entwined elegance gorgeous you can see so many different designs you could almost make that like um front of a sneaker couldn't you the lace up bit you know mm. of your of your mm. shoes and then you've got your decorative flourish you've got your modern geometric and you've got your delicate butterfly so there we go all six of those sets 40 pounds 50 dollars put your platinum price down there 32 pounds or 40 dollars right becky's got a few samples different samples yep. using these i have um, they, and as always the samples that we have are just absolutely stunning um, i'm always sort of um, amazed by um, the things that the design team make they are absolutely stunning so we've got some here um, this next one here using just very simple with that black and white it looks absolutely stunning same type of card but using a different colorway um, with that beautiful bright yellow nice and happy colors it is isn't oh, I'm it gonna get, i'm gonna get in so much trouble with lily aren't i there you go this one i love i really wish i'd been able to get this collection so this is a close chinoise i was going to say cloisonne but it's not but i think that's really, pretty, that's really pretty this one here using um that with the um the craft card is really pretty yes then we've got gorgeous, isn't it? this one very very nice like we're talking about sort of lacy effect and um, that sort of beautiful um card um, or paper pad that we've used here these ones using a little bit of glitter in there a little bit of glitter in your ribbon and um, makes a really pretty design this one for the roaring 20s um, with all of those beautiful colors again that sort of ducked blue that looks really really nice doesn't it i like that a lot very that very nice mine. i made that you did that one mm. did you mm. i think i think you've got them around the wrong way okay i can and actually the... tell you i haven't but there we go <laughs> <laughs> and this one here, um, looking absolutely beautiful, using, using the hearts in the way they were intended, um, not thinking outside the box where I did. <laughs> Is this one you made, Lily? No, this one was sa sadly made. Lily said it's the right best card she'd ever seen, and so <laughs> maybe she'd made it. Then one final one. <laughs> yeah. um, with that gingham, I think that gingham works really well. And I think you know, sometimes you think, oh, I can only use a plain um, ribbon in this. But actually, no, you can't. You can use any kind of ribbon and you might want to do on those. So a beautiful a collect selection of um, cars we've got here too. Right, now okay. the boat has just come in in the last seconds or two and demo of the day well lily we can be pleased to say it isn't number three. Oh. Okay, it's not number three it's going to be one of the two sewing ones but demo of the day has got to go to number two Yay. there we go well done absolutely gorgeous we're loving that and that's going to go on the shelf and tomorrow it will go up against the others for demo of the week Ooh. so there we go right talking of tomorrow we're going to be back together myself and becky but we're going to do a swap yep. we're going to do a swap so we're going to start off with second chance sunday which means that we're both going to be doing quite a bit in the morning for second chance sunday and then i'm going to give you a first look of some new gorgeous glitter paste which are actually launching on tuesday with our leanne glitter paste stencils and glitter glue i'll probably focus on the glitter paste because you know what glitter glue is we're going to do a lot on the glitter paste and i'm going to put it onto glass oh absolutely beautiful i want to show you something a little bit different and then becky and i are going to leave we're going home nice and early and sarah and ben will be in to launch all things christmas and you're going to just be so christmas out in the next week or two so it's going to be brilliant we've got so many fantastic launches first launch tomorrow snow queen on monday glitter pace on tuesday i think sheena's back with her christmas ones on wednesday and then i'm back with the fancy frames and sentiment on thursday so i know there are plenty of christmas things going on so please come back and join us tomorrow thank you for your comments we love it we love it when you interact we have had a brilliant day the comments have gone so off track i don't know <laughs> but it has been brilliant so yep yeah, 
Oh, um, Susie says, great fun show. And Becky, you knocked it out of the park with your first paper craft show. There oh, you thank go. Thank you very much. We thank loved you. it. Um, so, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Now, just remember, Sewing Saturday is going to become a regular thing on the second Saturday of every month, followed up by some Facebook Lives on a Friday at five, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday at 5 p.m. So, yep. there we go. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. But go and have an absolutely gorgeous evening. We've loved your company. Thank you so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you.